Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and when we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. Boy, oh boy, we got another episode for you guys. I can't believe we're even doing this video. It makes no sense. But anyway, before we get into it, make sure you go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now, just yesterday, <clears throat> just yesterday, depending on when you're seeing this video, we did a video where Stephen A. Smith seemed to finally have come to his senses about Giannis Antetokounmpo. Because in a segment that he had on ESPN First Take with Kevin uh, Kendrick Perkins, he seemed to be saying some very positive things about uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo, talking about where this guy could potentially end up all time if he continues to win championships, he, how he could end up behind Tim Duncan in the all-time ranking. So I finally said to myself, okay, about damn time that this guy is beginning to see the light. Because in the past, he's been using different ways to try to cut Giannis off at the legs. And I'm like... What is going on here? Why? What's this like? What, what? What is up with you and Giannis? I don't understand why you're not willing to give this guy his props. But with other people, you seem to be so willing to, um, you know, he praise on them quickly. Like for example, when you said Devin Book, uh, D Donovan Mitchell was better than Karl Malone just last year in the playoffs because he had what four or five games in the playoffs, or that Devin Booker was the next coming of Kobe Bryant. You're so easy. We, you, I mean. He, 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 it's so easy for you to heap praise on certain uh, on, on, on certain players who haven't accomplished anything, yet there are other players out there that have been doing it for a long time, and you find all of these ways to kind of say, oh, he's not this good, not that, not that good, or whatever. But boy, was I wrong. Because yesterday, on NBA Countdown, Stephen A. Smith started hating again on Giannis Antetokounmpo, and I'm like, what happened? Now, luckily, luckily, Jalen Rose is on the panel with Mike Greenberg and um, um, Mike Wilbon, and Jalen Rose was actually pushing back on Stephen A. Smith, like, hey, wait a minute, what the hell are you talking about? So for those of you guys who missed that exchange between Jalen Rose and Stephen A. Smith on Giannis Antetokounmpo, take a listen to com take take a listen to that exchange here, and then we're gonna come we're gonna come back and react to you know what they had to say. So take a listen to that. Is Giannis Antetokounmpo the best player? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and I'm tired of the Giannis disrespect. By the way, the reigning Finals MVP. And when people start to have this conversation, I want to make sure I distinguish something. It's not who's the best three-point shooter. It's not who has the most skill. You ask me who's the best. Yes. The numbers Joel and Embiid are putting up this year, Giannis has been putting them up each year. Okay? He also played against KD, for example, last year in the playoffs and eliminated him and his squad. Oh, don't use that in this. That actually happened. Oh, That's what I love boy. about basketball. And so, for me, KD was last year's salutatorian while Giannis is Salutatorian. now valedictorian. Salute. Is, uh, I'm, so, I'm so touched. I appreciate you reminding me what that word means. I'm so touched. Here's the deal. <laughs> Kevin Durant, if he's wearing a size 12 or 13, Giannis goes home. You sit up there and bring that up, but you just conveniently forget that Kyrie was out and James Harden was playing on one leg? Come on, man. That's, I mean, that's is Kyrie a, better on, than Middleton? Yeah, 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 hold on, wait, it's, it's, Who's it's, a better player between Kyrie and Middleton? Well, I, I mean, Kyrie's a showstopper offensively, but Middleton's missing mid-range. I'm just saying, how you gonna just ignore what Kevin Durant was missing, Jalen? How you gonna just ignore that? That's a shameful comment. They had their superstar. The Bucks had their superstar. And what the K K People what? are still diminishing the fact that this is the same Giannis. We didn't even know if he was going to play in the finals. You remember he hurt his leg? You remember the big it. block at the end of the finals the against Aiton? And then he kept the ball on the other end with Drew Holiday? Well, I'm well, the best player in the world. I'm going to go with Ante the Kumpo narrowly. Look, we're splitting hairs. We're looking for tiebreakers. Yeah, we are, for sure. And so he and Durant, I mean, you, you can take one one night and the other one surpasses the next night. This, I can't sit here and say definitively, Stephen A wants me to. I got you, Giannis. That one guy is above the other. I, it's Giannis listen, right listen, now. Listen, He's available listen, more listen, often. Listen, listen. You can't trust Will Bond. You can't <laughs> trust Jalen. They got that Midwest <laughs> thing going on where they collaborate with one another all the time. I'm not going for that. You know good and well Giannis ain't KD. Let's, let's, stop, let's pump the brakes now. Like Giannis is great. He's phenomenal. What is it that he Giannis Kevin doesn't Durant. do? What is his flaw? Excuse me? What is Giannis's flaw? How about perimeter shooting? How about perimeter shooting? How about that? That does matter. Now, in that clip, Mike Greenberg, I mean, Mike uh, Wilbon, asked a very important question to Stephen A. Smith. He said, what weakness or what is Giannis's flaw? Which opened up the avenue for Stephen A. Smith to then begin to say, his flaw is his perimeter shooting and i said to myself the minute he said that i said it's over because then you can ask a question or rather i'm going to ask the question if we're going to say if we're going to ask the question what is Giannis Antetokounmpo's flaw then the question i have for you guys is what's Ke kevin durant's flaw the major flaw that kevin durant has 
is on the de is on the defensive side of the floor. Giannis is not as skilled as Kevin Durant on the offensive side of the floor so in terms of making jump shots, uh, you know, with the skill to be able to hit perimeter shots. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. But on the defensive side of the floor, Giannis is in a Giannis Antetokounmpo is in a totally different universe. If we're talking about defense in a basketball game. And that's the part that I think a, a lot of NBA fans miss. We don't give enough credit to the defensive side of the floor. It seems like a lot of NBA uh, fans get enamored with just players that can score. But there's more to a basketball game than scoring. For example, for as great as Kevin Durant is on the offensive side of the floor, he's nowhere near close to what Giannis Antetokounmpo is. Giannis Antetokounmpo has made multiple all NBA defensive teams and he has a Defensive Player of the Year award under his belt. Kevin Durant, on the other hand, has never even made an all-NBA defensive team. Not first, not second, not third. And if you're not going to factor that in, into your assessment when you're judging these two guys as overall NBA players, then I don't really think you're doing a really, I don't think you're doing a good job. And I think at times, Stephen A. Smith sounds, he sounds like a casual when he's looking at Giannis Antetokounmpo. How can you not factor in the defensive side of the floor, the, 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 you know, the defensive side of the floor and the things that Giannis brings on a defensive, from a defensive aspect, right? You don't, def you don't factor that in. And at the same time with Kevin Durant, all you're looking at is offense. And then say, he's not on KD's level. What the hell are you even talking about? He's not on Kevin Durant's level. As far as hitting jump shots, is that all there is to a basketball game? Just jump shots? Are you freaking kidding me? Is that all there is to it? Yes, Kevin Durant is a much better perimeter player. There's no question about it. But are we just going to hold if that if that's the only metric to judge who's truly the best? And by that by that logic, we can simply say that Stephen Curry is better than Giannis Antetokounmpo. And nobody in their right mind would say that Stephen Curry is better than Giannis Antetokounmpo. You must be on something else. There's no way you would say, well, just because Stephen Curry is a better shooter than Giannis, he's better than Giannis. That makes no sense whatsoever, because you're just looking at shooting. But shooting is not the only aspect of a game. And Giannis impacts the game in many more, at many more levels than Kevin Durant. That is the reality. That's not my opinion. That's what the data says. Go look at both of these guys' averages. Giannis, for the last six years, has averaged a, a, a double-double, meaning he's averaged over double-digit rebounds. Over the last six years, Kevin Durant has not. And they're virtually the same height. Giannis Antetokounmpo averages more blocks than KD. Giannis Antetokounmpo can set screens and all of it, and is one of the reasons why... I like players that can dominate both ends of the floor at a, at a high level. That's the reason why I gravitate towards players like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and Kawhi Leonard, for example. Kawhi Leonard, in my opinion, is the best two-way NBA player in all of basketball. Some people would disagree and say Giannis, fine. But he's certainly up there. And for those of you people, where are you come bringing in Kawhi? Because Kawhi is that dude. Kawhi Leonard, for his, for his NBA playoff career, he's shooting 51% from the field. That is, that is his career Field goal percentage in the playoffs. Did you hear what I just said? 51% last season he shot 57% from the floor. So Kawhi is just as efficient as KD. Just as efficient from the floor. I'm talking about free throw shooting, perimeter shooting, mid-range. Go look at the advanced numbers. We've already done this. He's just as efficient. But the fundamental difference between Kawhi and Kevin Durant is that you cannot put Kevin Durant on your best offensive player on the, on the opposing team and say, go guard him. You cannot do that. You can do that with Giannis. You can do that with Kawhi. So for you to just say, oh, Kawhi Leonard, I mean, uh, or, uh, or, or what is it? Kevin Durant is not on Giannis. On a, I mean, Giannis Antetokounmpo is not on Kevin Durant's level. You got to stop that nonsense. Like, cut it out. Cut it out. It's just a way to undermine what this guy does. And it makes you look as if, like, it makes it seem as if you're a casual. You don't pay attention to defense? Did y'all not see the play that Giannis Antetokounmpo made? On that pick and roll when he showed hard and recovered back to the basket to block the lob on DeAndre. Are you freaking kidding me? How many people in the world can do that? So to me, I'm very happy that Jalen Rose stepped up and said, and said something. Giannis Antetokounmpo can impact the basketball game in more, at more, on, on more levels than Kevin Durant. And finally, we got to stop making this argument on what ifs. The only reason KD lost is but 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 we're dealing with reality. We're not talking about what if what if what if, what have could have should have happened. We're dealing with reality. In my opinion, I think the Clippers should have been the, uh, the, what is it, the Phoenix Suns. Had Kawhi and these guys been, but they weren't, so they lost. History recorded that event as the Phoenix Suns won and the Clippers lost. That's what history says. So that's what happened. And ultimately, we have to argue what actually happened, not what could have happened. We can't go to hypotheticals just to make our point. 
base our arguments on events that never took place, just to make a point. Giannis beat KD and went to the finals. People are acting like this, and, and Jalen Rose brought up the point. Giannis also injured himself, and he somehow miraculously was able to play. So to me, I'm very happy that Jalen Rose pushed back. We got to stop with this nonsense about you. Giannis is the type of guy that can go out there and get you 15 points, 25 rebounds, four blocks, and seven assists in a game. KD can get you 50 points, eight rebounds, six assists. Now, one guy can score more, but you can see that another guy can impact the game at more levels. And that's just the reality. So those are my thoughts and opinions. And I'm glad that uh, Jalen Rose was able, was able to step out there and say something. My question to you guys is, what do you think about the exchange that uh, Jalen Rose and Stephen A. Smith had? And ultimately, what are your thoughts on some of the things that I said? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day and catch you guys on the next episode.